hey kudos welcome back to my channel so if you're new please click subscribe and if you're a regular welcome back um i know i've been gone for so long i even changed my hair um life has been hectic work has been yeah please forgive me but i'll try my best to upload videos so in this video i'll be just vlogging at church we are doing a career fair so i'll be advocating for rethink code like always um there'll be different different institutions like uj up but and then there'll be people from different companies and people offering bursaries so yeah i mean it's a great initiative especially from church um to help the community you know and a lot of people don't know about things especially places like Rethink Code, um, Umuzi and so forth so this is just a way to let people know especially in places like the East Strand. The East Strand is just so far and information doesn't get there as quickly so that's what I'll be doing in this video so please keep on watching and do enjoy. I got the banner and the tablecloth. We don't, I don't have the flyers right now, so I'll work with what I have. Hey coders, so today is the day. So yeah, let me take you there with me. Now, when you network, it's more than just the exchange of contacts. Networking is about building relationships and exchange of contacts. When you funeral, you can that this space is a matter of time. Wait, you And um, we, we need to accept who we are as the people and uh, not be directed or to be defined by other other people. Um, currently I'm a CEO. Um, my name is Missila Kope Ndako. Kope is my name. I to quickly share uh, with you guys, but unfortunately for this video, I will just talk a bit uh, about what I do and where I'm from. So I am a biochemist, I'm not a microbiologist. So there's a difference actually. So there's microbiology, there's biochemistry, there's genetics, there's yeah, so many other things, human physiology and all those things. But I'm a biochemist, uh, I have a PhD in biochemistry um, from the University of Pretoria. That's always where I've been. I actually even work at the University of Pretoria. Uh, so apart from actually it being a great university, there's also other political things that push me to actually still stay at the University of Pretoria. So, but, uh, but really consider science and consider that it opens up so many other things for you. We've had people that are graduates in science, but because they know critical thinking, they know data management, they know how to work in groups and in teams, 
we've got people that are working about APSA, like without the qualification of a person that they need at APSA, but because of the skills that you get as a scientist, that you can go into those uh, situations and those networks as well. So really consider it. Um, also, find out what your passion is and see how the world and whatever career opportunities are out there that you could use then to try to push your passion. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Um, so okay, some of them. I thank you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Um, um, my name is Violet Nua. Um, I want to start my story uh, from metric just so because we have young people that need to get motivated and just you know communicate in terms of um, what to study and how to go about um, choosing subjects that are going to help you um, maneuver like trust me when I say life is not easy it really is not but um, when you when you have dreams like they said and I would like to thank those to me more than anything for inviting me to this informative um, um, sort of like a class um, a church where you guys really communicate um, means of trying to make it as like young people. Um, so thank you so much, Christine. Uh, my name is Violet. Like I said, I am 22 years of uh, age. I uh, went to University of Johannesburg. They study, um, do your work, uh, be determined, have a purpose, know what you want, have passion, and you do know what you're passionate about. I've had people that spoke about biometrics, people that spoke about uh, doctors. Um, I mean, there was a point in my life when I wanted to do accounting, um, I applied, I'm now in communication. But one thing I know is that um, as people, as young people, we always make plans, we always make uh, uh, plans as to what's going to happen. But the truth is, God is God of execution. He's going to execute whatever that he wants you to do with your life. <laughs> Zoke was signing science doctor, but but no letter. <laughs> but uh, nevertheless, uh, it's about understanding. I think one of the speakers said that it's not even about what you study, um, but it's what you pay for yourself, right? Um, we know how teaching is being considered as I know, don't go into teaching. Hey, there's no money for teaching. Um, but the greatest thing about being a teacher, um, all of you now today, one is a doctor, the CEO, you know, um, so this is where it all begins, it starts, the foundation, but also the, when I ventured into teaching, it was not my uh, first, first choice, right? Um, I had other plans. I think my first choice was dramatic studies because and then I did performing arts first before going into teaching. Um, but then you look at the job market. That's the one thing that is important um, for you guys now going into deciding your careers is that you need to look at the job market first. What's going to give you a job immediately after university? You know? Um, and that's how then I got into teaching. Then I was like, no, passion will follow after. Okay, so we came to the church. Um, UJ was there. There were speakers, people who were doing biochemistry and actual science. You know, there were people. They received the information and they had a lot of questions to ask, especially about weaving code, because it's not known, guys. And I feel like now it needs to be really known. Yes, the people are talking about universities universities but sometimes it's very difficult to get into a university and you find that in as far in as far as then it means you're gonna stay no there are other opportunities out there and i think for me my 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 thing is just to advocate for we think code is to advocate for umuzi it's to advocate for explore um AI, you know, those type of institutions because you know what when you go there, you're not stressing about fees, you know, you're not stressing about what you're going to eat because you get a stipend, you're not stressing, you don't have these other stresses, all you're doing is focusing on your work. So, yeah, I think right now my thing is to just advocate for be think code for all these um, institutions that are not considered the con conventional way of 
continuing your studies so yeah really we need to do better for our communities we can't be having a bonyaube we can't be having a mantomazana pregnant in lini bangas uti bayenza because tati gap here and a agaz uti what's next you know so yeah and what's nice is the people that come here they mentor people so this is a great thing i hope it continues and i hope a lot of people get a lot from it you know so that's it for the video i think i'm gonna end the video here please give this video a thumbs up comment down below and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed until the next one bye